So I finally made it to the top. Now, I got a stain on my shirt. Now, why do I have a stain on my shirt? Because I changed my shirt. You need to bring another shirt with you because when you get to the top and it's really early in the morning, it's absolutely great when you can towel off or with a scarf and put another shirt on because it's a little nippy if you're sweating a lot coming up the trail. Now, as you can see behind me is Machu Picchu. Now, Machu Picchu is fascinating because it was ruled by the Inca or the king. And the actual people were called Cachua or Cachuan. Is the, um, is the name of the language they spoke. So we're gonna go ahead and explore Machu Picchu. Now when you get to the front, be sure to be patient with the people because there's a lot of people here and be sure this portal right here gets very clogged. So when you're coming up this space, just be patient and get your picture. Here's Machu Picchu laid out before me. Now there's some several rules you need to be aware of when you come to Machu Picchu. First and foremost, don't litter. Only go to the restroom outside. Be aware of the stones because they are crumbling and don't be a dickhead because they'll reflect badly on your country. Now, what's really interesting about all of this right here is that most of the construction is done underneath Machu Picchu. Do you ever wonder why a giant city on the top of a mountain doesn't slide off? That's because there's a huge amount of construction underneath all the buildings here. And what do they do? They set gravel, sediment, and all kinds of different elements so the entire mountain is actually a drain. Which is pretty creative considered it was created in 14, between 1430 and 1440 and lasted for about 600 years. And not only that, something built 600 years ago can be so productive and create so much productivity in a country. Now I've gotten up a little bit higher and this mountain behind me is Wana Pichu, which means Young Mountain. And you can climb up to the top of that. Now, when you look behind me, you can see the space and the terraces that were built for food. It's incredible the way that they were able to create spaces for food on such degrees and angles on the mountains. The technology was not only innovative, but allowed the Inca Empire to spread from Ecuador all the way down to Chile and provide 12 million people with food. <laughs> so this is Phil the Llama, I named him, and um, he, uh, he likes, I named him Phil, and uh, he likes art and the classics, he enjoys eating grass and um, being a gangster. Can you make a photo of me with Llama? So this is Phil the Llama at Machu Picchu, he's gangster. Now right here behind me is said to be the royal residences and they're some of the largest structures on Machu Picchu with the most space and that's why they feel it's that way. It'd be good to be king. There's also a fountain right over here that you can use and the king gets his water first. So behind me are the terraces. Now these terraces are what I was talking about. The way they can build on the side of mountains and are able to keep them from um, falling off the mountain is incredible. There's some llamas down there, they're pretty badass, they got little sweet red and green earrings, and they're pretty amazing when it comes to their ability to move around. You see them walk right through groups of tourists. They act like they own the place. So if you ever get here, be sure to get your picture with a little bit of a llama. Now, here you can see a little further down the mountain. I'm up near the king's residence, but further down the mountain you can see all the residences where th people were held. They said they were astronomers, scholars, all kinds of people that were excellent, architects, agriculturalists, everyone that um, mattered to create this amazing empire. This is where they'd stay, in this urban area. Now, up here where the king stays, he's actually got that fountain I was talking about, as well as access Near the, near the guardhouse and can flow up to the temple of the, um, excuse me, the, um, the gate of the sun and he can flow easily down to right below the temple of the sun. So let's go ahead and head there right now. <laughs> 